Could you please state your name for the record? My name is Clement James Roby. Where do you live, Mr. Roby? I live at 105 in the Garden Street, Queen's Club, George Club, Guyana. And are you the Minister of Home Affairs of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana? I am. And since when have you held this position? I've held this position since September the 9th, 2006. And who were you appointed by on September the 9th, 2006? President Barth Darko. And were you again on the 5th of December, 2011, appointed as Minister of Home Affairs? Yes, I was. And who were you appointed by? President Donald Ramadan. Minister Rohi, have you been an elected member of the National Assembly of Guyana since October 1992? Yes. Now, Minister Rohi, would you kindly indicate to the commissioners what you conceive your functions as Minister of Home Affairs to be? That is vis-a-vis -vis the Guyana Police Force. If I may. Do you wish to be refreshed from your statement? Yeah, I do. Mr. Chairman, having regard to the request of the Honorable Minister, application is respectfully made for him to be refreshed in that regard from his statement. Can you indicate to us, Mr. Minister, what you conceive your functions to be? That is, the Ministry as Minister of Home Affairs is to be the kind of police force. Thank you. The statutory responsibility is that the one for me as the Minister of Home Affairs is to be found in three pieces of legislation or acts. The Police Act, Chapter 1601, the Public Order Act, Chapter 1603, and the Firearms Act, Chapter 1605. Sorry, as well as the Immigration Act. Sir, are you also required to implement Cabinet's policy decisions in respect of the maintenance of public safety and good order within the state of Guyana? Yes, sir. Sir, did you receive a letter dated the 25th of October 2012 inviting you to this commission, the Linden Commission of Inquiry, to render assistance in relation to two terms of reference? Yes, I did receive that letter. And more in particular, those two terms of reference are, number one, to inquire what? If any general and specific instructions that the Minister of Home Affairs give to the Guyana Police Force to maintain law and order in Linden immediately before, during, immediately before, during, and immediately after the events on Wednesday, 18th of July, 2012. And two, make recommendations, implementation of which will assist the Guyana Police Force in effectively and professionally discharging their responsibilities for the maintenance of law and order in the aforesaid community of Linden and similar communities without endangering their own safety and that of innocent persons. Is that correct, sir? Yes, that was correct. With respect to terms of reference, one, if, please, Mr. Minister, will you tell us whether you met with any member of the Guyana Police Force prior to the 18th of July, 2012? Yes, I met with the Commissioner of Police on the 18th of December. And where did you meet with the Minister of Home, sorry, with the Commissioner of Police? I met with him on the 
Honorable Commissioner, Mr. Rohi has already said that on the evening of the 17th of July 2012, did the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Minister, tell you anything at that meeting? Can you tell us whether he told you anything or and what he did, if anything? He briefed me about developments and he informed me that he was or he had taken a decision to dispatch a half a leader of the TSU to this manager. By TSU, do you mean the tactical service unit? Yes, that's the TSU. And a half unit was dispatched to deal with the situation on the ground in Linden? That's correct. Did you give the Commission of Police any directions? Well, I told him that I am relying on him to ensure that peace and good order is maintained while the unit is at work. Sir, did you communicate with the Commissioner during the, follow, the, the following 48 hours, that is the 48 hours following the evening of the 17th of July 2012? Yes, I did. And in what manner did you communicate with him? By what means? It was on the phone. Would you kindly indicate to the honorable members of the Commission what took place or what was the, sorry, what was the nature of the conversations that you had with Mr. Brown, the Commissioner of Police? Well, I told him that I was in receipt of information that the situation in the Indian had deteriorated and that I was told that people were killed. So I wanted to hear from him exactly what happened. Sir, in relation to the... Sir, with respect to the information that you received with respect to persons being killed and the conversation that you had with Mr. Brummel, where that was communicated by you to Mr. Brummel, do you recall when that communication may have taken place? I think it was sometime around between 98 and 99. On what date, please, Mr. Minister? That was the 8th of July. Sir, on the said date, after on or about or after the time that you spoke to the Commissioner of Police, did he also inform you that persons were shot? No, he was in no position to do that. Did he provide you with any further details in that regard? No. Sir, resulting from the events which took place on the 18th of July, 2012, in Linda at the Mackenzie Wisma Bridge, did you have to brief anyone in that regard? Yes. And who did you have to brief? The President, the Prime Minister, the Head of the Presidential Secretariat, and the Cabinet Colleague. Sir, was the information which was provided to you 
by the Commission of Police. Sufficient for, sufficient for you to brief the President, the Prime Minister, and your other cabinet 